I'm Bobby Volinsky, and I am a mixed media artist. And you've been here for 20 years. At least, yeah. Well, actually, I can say I'm Bobby, and I've been here, I think, actually, since the summer of 1997, actually. Right. So it's almost it's starting to approach 25 years. Ooh. No wonder I feel so old. <laughs> For physical reasons, um, recovering from major back surgery has kept me out of my studio this year, and yet I think that the work I've been doing remains relevant, even though I haven't had my hands on it over this last year. I certainly keep thinking about what's motivated me and the feelings that I've had about my experience. Uh, I was still using um, acrylic gel transfers of images, but kind of figuring out a way to put them in order. I've been working with paper, copy paper, um, acrylic gel, and ink. A lot of my process has been taking copies of old images, well, the drawings, you know, on ink, and tearing them up. I guess the act of tearing up paper has been powerful for me because it's an indication of veering away from a very concrete or specific image or picture that might be recognizable. It, it fulfills feelings of anger or tears or um, wanting to cry. One thing that I hadn't thought of until now, abandoning something or abandoning some experience or abandoning um, a direction or a goal or, or an objective. And that kind of is at the core of what feels scary that could relate to many people this year living with the COVID experience, how scary and disruptive it is to kind of tear up whatever plan you have and you just don't know what is next and how are you gonna survive or what are you gonna plan for, what are you gonna do? In some ways it's satisfying to me, but it, it, it leaves this open question again about, well, what comes next? What strikes me in terms of actually coming back and seeing my actual work um, for since it's been like about eight months as opposed to just seeing images of it, I feel that there's a not only a life or vitality to it, but it's been an expression of my own physical experience. It becomes a residue of experience, you know, it's sort of like letting the world or some small part of the world know I was here. One of the things that's been special for me in terms of um, the Open Studios experience has been that having people come in and share their responses, whether they're asking questions or whether they're just kind of excited to associate some response to what they see. I, I think the only thing that kind of comes to mind right off 
maybe falls more on some of my wire sculpture. People have responded to that in the sense of that somehow my line, especially in the line, line of wire, somehow seems to be me, whatever me is, it seems to be very unique. In some ways, I wonder if it's a kind of Zen-like um, activity, you know, just this endless kind of coiling, almost to the point of boredom because I, you know, like, how much will I need to coil to kind of begin to get a piece to have enough structure and strength to stand on its own, which has always been my objective there, and that's always really satisfied me. The lines, <laughs> the lines um, before seem to be part of something recognizable or still holding on to, gee, if people know what the image is or says, there's something very safe and secure about it because in a way I'm keeping the boundaries somewhat narrow and confined and um, I've got the direction of, gee, I want to get this to stand on, on its own. That's, that's great in some way, but now to abandon it and just not know, okay, it's like I'm tearing up the plan so what am I going to do next? I have no idea. Uh. <laughs>